This is a cheap $200 Rickenbacker 4003 Chinese made copy that I got off of AliExpress.com. And it's not great, it's not good, it's not even that okay to be honest. But let's go ahead and dig into it and check out the Rickenbacker 4003 Chinese made copy. Or as it says on the website, the Ricken Electric Base Store Top Quality Black Backer 4003 Base. Hard case available. So a few months ago, my friend Hunter and I, uh, his name is Agufish on YouTube, go look at his channel, go subscribe to him. Uh, we're talking about doing another set of cheap instruments and seeing really where we could get them from, but let's not go for the cheapest one. Let's see really what we can get. And so he decided on this really disgusting looking seven string Hello Kitty model Strat, yikes. And I decided on a Rickenbacker. I've, uh, I don't have a lot of experience with Rickenbackers. I've played them maybe three or four times. Uh, they're pretty cool. I like the styling of them, but they're just so expensive where it's just like, eh, I'm good for now. But this was only about $250 or so. And I decided to go ahead and try it out. And then a few months later, this came. But it's not that great. I knew it wouldn't be that great, but it's not that good. There's a lot of things about it, so let's just dive in. So as you can see, it is just 100% through and through a blatant copy of a Rickenbacker 4003 base. From the body style to the headstock, and in the pictures that it showed, it didn't even show the full headstock because they knew that's what they would get sued over. And of course, that's why they didn't put the full Rickenbacker name together on the page either. The Ricken now again, I've played a Rickenbacker like three or four times before. One of the things that you can really tell whenever you play one is there's a lot of quality put into it. And that explains their huge fan base, especially over decades of nothing but quality instruments and of course the higher price tag too. You pay for a good quality instrument. This is definitely not that high quality instrument. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be really upset and instantly mad because they're like, this is just a Chinese made fake. And it's like, yeah, it is. I wanted to see really how good or how bad it's gonna be. But yes, this is a $300 guitar that was made in China. That is obviously a fake of a much more expensive guitar. And that's okay. You know what? If they're gonna get sued, then Rickerbacker can go ahead and sue them. But I took the chance, said, hey, let's see how this goes and it's just not great. And I sort of knew that was gonna happen anyway. And now let's go through the page and really see the specs that they give us and what we're sort of supposed to be looking forward to. On this Rick and Electric Bass Store, top quality black backer 4003 bass hard case available. First up, we have fingerboard material, which claims to be rosewood. Nope, no way. Uh, so when I bought this, the band was still up for Rosewood. Uh, as of right now, the band is no longer in effect uh, against Rosewood. No, nobody would go ahead and do that, especially when I guarantee you they just used a cheaper wood instead. It says body material, mahogany. There's no way. Nope. Uh, I actually took the pick art off and yeah, that doesn't look like mahogany to me. Uh, and mahogany is much heavier. While this bass is heavy, uh, it's pretty light compared to other Rickenbackers that I've played before. Suitable for unisex. All right. It's not a gender specific bass. Not bad. Very modern of them. Tight bass guitar, bow material, Brazil wood. What? Tone position, 22. Tone position, frets, you know what they mean. Back slash side material, mahogany. No, there's no way. Pickup, passive close type. Yep, yeah, sure. String winder, closed knob. Yep, that's true too. Now, let's go through it real quick. The body, the look, love it. I love the style of Rickenbackers. I also truly love this color. There's no denying that at all. I absolutely love this color. I didn't want to change it at all. That's what really sparked my interest in the first place. Yeah, the color just looks rad. And then uh, it's got the little fake binding on it too. That's a cool little touch. This bridge is god awful. Uh, I hate it so much. It feels cheap. Um, there's scratches already on it. 
And with the body too, uh, you know how, how I know it's not mahogany, as there's already little dents in it um, that just look like it's made of cheap plywood or something like that, where it's just, yeah, there's no. It's not mahogany. I'm gonna probably keep going back to that because that's a lie. The pit guard itself is definitely just a single one ply, super cheap plastic that uh, is, I think, warping a little bit already. I like the knobs, the pickup switch works. Um, the pickups themselves, now this is a big one. The bridge pickup doesn't work. No, well, I guess it works, kind of, but it's so quiet, there's really no point in me using it. So yeah, every sound that you hear in this video uh, is just the neck pickup by itself because I even took the pickguard off to see how the wiring was and I rewired the bridge part of it myself and yeah, it it just, there's like no volume to it so I don't even know what the point of that was. Uh, super cheap and I imagine it doesn't sound that great anyway. Uh, the neck pickup though, obviously cheap, not great, but the neck pickup is the best part of this bass, to be honest. Um, pretty thick, has a nice bit of oomph to it that just sounds really big, actually. And it kind of has the tone of a really mean P bass, but a little thicker, actually. So the neck pickup, I think, is truly the best part about this bass. But I would still want to replace it, though. The neck itself, this is basically a giant baseball bat instead of a neck. The fretboard is 100% definitely not rosewood. What is it? I have no idea. Um, but the neck also has a binding, too. That's cool. Um, I like the inlays. The frets feel really weird. I don't know how long they'll last. I don't know what they're made of. And just playing the bass, the fretboard's so dry, even though I put some fret oil on it uh, and let that soak it up and everything. And yeah, no, it it's just really bad. And the neck itself has the coating of paint on the back of it, um, and so your hand gets caught on it no matter what. And then the fretboard itself just feels really bad too, and it's not fun to play at all. The nut, I am 100% sure, has to be a thick plastic. <laughs> I have no proof, but this nut is god-awful. And surprisingly, the tuners aren't bad. Like, really surprisingly, actually. The tuners are not bad at all. I think in terms of the top three things about this bass, we have one, the neck pickup, two, the style, three, uh, the tuners, which is kind of crazy, but a lot of it else is just not great at all. Another thing I do want to bring up is when I took the pick guard off, I saw this beautiful routing uh, on the inside. Oh, wow, look at that. That is, that is some good Dremel work right there, because geez, that... They just went to town on that, obviously. My God. So all in all, this Fakenbacker is okay. Uh, it's not worth the $250 at all. I'm not gonna link it in the description or anything. If you want one yourself, that's your volition. Go ahead, do that. I don't care. I'm just saying that you're, you can definitely put your money into a better place. But will this bass play better with upgrades all around and a good setup? Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? Because I can try and get a hold of Rickenbacker parts or aftermarket ones and just see what I can do with it and maybe make a decent bass out of it. But let me know what you guys thought about it. Again, don't buy this bass. It's just not worth it. The style's cool and that's about it. And the neck pickup. And that's it. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you like this video and want to see more and possibly see me do, I guess, an upgraded version of this bass later, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be like these beautiful people right here and help support the channel and get cool things along the way like, you know, uh, giveaways and then early access to videos and more, go ahead and become a Patreon supporter too. But thank you all so much for watching as always, and I'll see you all next time.